Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquis of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. Living Streams, we meet behind the trade fair, uh, behind Zenith College, and we meet on Sundays from 7 to 9 for the first service, and from 10 to 12 for the second service. And then we also meet on Wednesdays for our midweek service, 6.30 to 8. This second uh, episode, I like to call Leadership uh, pedestals and pitfalls. Now, the Bible said something that is amazing. In 1 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1, I, I, I was quite fascinated by it. It said, listen, if any man desires the office of a, a bishop, he desires a good thing. So here's what um, uh, the Bible is saying. If any man uh, wants to be a leader, especially in the house of God, it is a good thing. Wow. Now, that changed my mind. I came from the school of thought that, no, 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 you never go near leadership. And I must be very, very honest with you. I am really a reluctant leader. I mean, uh, I prefer not to be at the forefront, but then uh, sometimes it's uh, thrusted upon your shoulders and you don't have any other thing to do but just to do what you need to do. Now, so the Bible says it is a good thing to desire to be a leader. There's nothing, I mean, it is, if any man desires it, it is a good thing because you, you feel that you have the potential, you have the capabilities. You, first of all, you have the know-how yeah, and, and you have the heart and you have the character and you have all the things that are necessary to lead the people and you have the vision to, uh, to take uh, people somewhere. So it is not wrong to desire the office of a bishop. That's what the Bible says. It is not wrong. Now, so we're in a political system where we'll be going for an election all the people running, <laughs> they are not wrong. That's what I'll say. I mean, they want to serve. They want to lead. They want to listen. That's okay. It's okay by men and it's okay by God. I mean, it is a choice. Some uh, may like it. Uh, somebody's meat may be another man's poison. But they have put themselves up for leadership roles. And that's a good thing. The Bible doesn't condemn that. The Bible doesn't throw that away. But here is a catch. And that catch is what Jeremiah summarize for us in the book of Jeremiah chapter 36. In the book of Jeremiah chapter 36, there is something there that is, is, is really, really, really outstanding. Jeremiah chapter 36 verse 4. This is what Jeremiah said to Baruch his, his servant. He said, Seekest thou great things for thyself, seek it not. Seekest thou great things for thyself, seek it not. So number one, it is good to seek for high office. It is good to, to seek for positions of prominence in society. It is good to uh, seek for political leadership. It is good. There's nothing wrong with it. You are just saying that you have something to offer. You have a vision. You have the, the character that supports the vision. And then you don't only just have a vision. You, you, you have a, uh, the pathway and you have the personnel to run the affairs of this nation. But then the Bible puts a caveat there. And the caveat is very simple. What are your motives? What are your reasons for seeking office? He said, seekest thou good things for thyself. Seekest thou position for yourself, seek it not. If your purpose is to, be, to run a selfish system, if, the, if the, your purpose is to rob the, uh, the, the coffers of the nation dry, if, if your purpose is just to fool citizenry and let citizenry believe in you that you have something or that you've done something or you're going to do something, and in reality, the welfare of citizenry is not yours, but probably the pillaging of the nation, national coffers is your, is, is your uh, motive, then the Bible says, seek it not. And may God frustrate plans of people who are coming to add to our corruption list. May God frustrate them. We don't, we don't want this thing. Listen, Africa is replete with a lot of corruption. Africa is replete. I don't say that the Western world isn't, but Africa is what concerns me, and especially Ghana. When will corruption stop? 
When will people in positions of prominence recognize that they are there not to line up their pockets with ill-gotten wealth, not to parade supercars and decorate uh, uh, friends, families, or whatever it is with, 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 the, with, the, uh, with the gold from the coffers of the nation? No, and no, and no. For both incumbent and for both aspiring, if your purpose is for selfish gains, seekers thou uh, power for yourself, seekers thou office for yourself, seekers thou all these things for yourself, seek it not. And I, I know that maybe the, the die is already cast, but may God, whom we serve, look through the issues and make sure the people with that agenda will never survive the electoral process. One way or the other, he will supervise this election for us. Listen, people are dying in the hospitals for just uh, uh, peanuts that they need to pay for drugs. There are some things that needs to, to be worked on very, very seriously. This is, this is not the time for any politician or whatsoever of whatever political persuasion to come and seek an opportunity for personal aggrandizement, robbing of the nation, and all the things that takes place. Seekest thou great things for thyself, seek it not. So, the pedestals of leadership and the pitfalls are all in the Bible. And it's a warning that if these are your intentions, don't do it. Well, people have made their choices already, and people want to listen. But may we, the ordinary citizens, may God open our eyes to see through the motives of people and vote, and vote God's choice. See you later.